Hey, peace and love, fam. <clears throat> I'm at the uh, Santa Ana Civic Center trying to clear up some business. And, uh, you know, things didn't exactly work out the way that I wanted to, but I'm here. And, uh, you know, the way that um, the greatest one works out is that there's always a lesson to be learned. There's always things to see and always things to do. And as you can see... Head north toward West Civic Center Drive. Oops. That's my GPS, sorry. Um, as you can see, there's a huge homeless population. I didn't show you everything, but they're right here in the Civic Center, Orange County Courthouse. Just living. You know, I'm one of these people. I'm homeless as well, and I understand what it's like. <clears throat> And so, just wanted to talk today a little bit about ego and balance. Um, you know, it's really hard to um, describe some of the this journey that I've been through. Um, but there are things that, uh, you know, I would like to portray, if possible, about balance and ego. My um, ego has taken over a little bit, and uh, you know, um, and for good or bad, there's really I'm starting to understand that you know there might not be such a clear-cut case of what bad is. The reason why I say that is because yes, I decided to um, become a vegetarian, but today I p I picked up a sandwich, and it was a chicken sandwich, and it was delicious. They were giving them out right over there for free. And, um, you know, the reality is that all these homeless people have to eat. People have to eat. And who am I to say to the volunteers who are giving out food that's chicken and beef and, and um, other things that, no, don't eat that. Don't touch that because it's not you know, according to my standards, you know, acceptable. They still got to eat. They still got to feed their children. They still got to live. And, um, you know, it's hard. It's a hard decision um, when you know that you want to live a certain way. But maybe you're not ready to live that way. Maybe you're not ready to partake in certain things, certain treasures. Um, that the Creator has gifted you. Maybe you still have some time and, um, you know, you have to overcome that ego that says, yes, I, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. But are you really ready to dive in deep and um, explore certain things and give up other things? And, um, you know, one of the things that I've come across is judgment. And I've realized that, you know, a lot of people judge. And uh, I'm one of those people that I was judging things and people uh, based on certain behaviors and stuff like that. And not understanding, you know, what the purpose is. There's a purpose for everything. And, uh, you know, again, you can't overstep what you're ready for. You can't overstep um, the, the greatest one's plan. And when you do, get ready for a freaking lesson. Um, and it's going to come at you hard. And I have, uh, you know, um, been hit with the, that lesson that, you know, maybe you're just not ready for certain things or certain things are not meant to be the same way that you think it is, you know, um, and this is, uh, you know, just eating, eating habits is a, a good way to, um, describe it, you know, there are certain people who can go full vegetarian, <clears throat> and, uh, I have done that in the past, and, uh, you know, I, I still was, uh, being, um, attacked, in fact, the attacks increased when I did that. And so, you know, 
maybe the journey here on this planet as in the, in this human body is is, uh, is 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 a lot deeper than one might think and you know you have to be responsible in many different ways you know and you have to be honest with yourself you know as you can see I've gotten a nice little bottle of wine right here and I have to honestly say I've already drank a bottle um, balance of that you know may go into you know what is it that you really want in this world do you want to just sit back and partake and steal or and, and enjoy and live a carefree life and not enact any change or do you want to do some stuff with your life do you want to do something and without balance and acceptance and understanding and empathy and, and care for those around you, you're not going to be able to um, get to that balance because you're still you're going to be uh, you're going to succumb to ego, and the ego is going to start um, you know dictating what your life should be like. It's going to start um, deciding what you should and shouldn't be doing. Um, I don't know if I should move. I don't think so. Um, you know, and for me, my own personal journey. I realize again that you know all these people that are sitting out here maybe they just they don't have the opportunity to just go and eat vegetables all the all the time and fruit and I mean yeah it's it's great that you can but does that if they don't does that make them any less human does that make them any less you know a, a child of the of the greatest one are they any less because of that and no it, it's not everyone has their own personal journey and um, you know maybe it's not in the cards yet for some people to do certain things and you know for me I know I have to um, come to a certain acceptance that you know one may falter and is it really a faltering or is it another lesson there is it something that you should understand about nature about reality um, you know, because you can't, again, I mentioned this in a previous video, lions and tigers and bears, you know, they, <laughs> you're not going to go and convince them to eat vegetarian or to be a certain way or to act a certain way just because you, f because you feel they, uh, they shouldn't. Is it, it's not really your, your choice. It's not really, you know, up to you. Because you're not the creator, I'm not the creator, and the creator knows all, and um, is all, and knows best. And so, um, you know, a couple of days ago, about two, three or four days ago, I had a meditative experience where it was um, very, very deep, and, um, you know, I'm still kind of reeling from that. I feel like I'm still kind of in a limbo state because it hit so hard that I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't prepared. Um, and it left me in tears and it left me, um, you know, almost shaking. Um, because maybe I was not ready and did not fully understand what it was that I was doing or getting myself into. Um, because. I was maybe using too much ego and was not caring and understanding that there are others who um, have their own personal journey and may not be ready for certain things as well. Anyway, so I guess the gist of what I'm trying to say, and I know it's uh, not coming off <laughs> as well as I want it to, um, but I think it's good to reserve judgment. and. Um, pointing fingers into you into I mean you know it is difficult especially if you've been a part of this mind control program and uh, have been um, abused in different ways it is difficult because you kind of have a hunch on your shoulders you really just don't want to interact with people it turns you into a certain beast as well and a different kind of beast but definitely a beast um, in, a different, in a different light um, you know, someone who thinks that they're maybe holier than others or better than others, 
um, when that may not be the case. And so, you know, I, personally, in my, uh, my opinion, I'm going to try to stop with so much judgment and just try to just live a little bit, you know, live a little bit more in balance with nature um, and uh, with myself, knowing that if I want to get things done, I can't just blow off the day and do nothing. I have to actually act. I have to, um, you know, be a part of something. I have to help, you know, and there are people like, for example, those volunteers that were giving out food were helping. They were they were actually putting their their action at work, uh, their thoughts into action. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not one of those things that you can easily communicate. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of people here who, uh, who need help in different ways. And they're, trying to, they're doing the best they can. You know, they, some of them might have kids, some of them may not. Um, but they're, they're, they're living and they're going through the struggle. And, uh, you know, it's going to take a group effort for us all to kind of um, get past this ego and this judgment issue. And for us to be better as, uh, as people. And, you know, uh, I don't know personally, besides changing your own self and having a balance and uh, you know incorporate incorporating that into your life and understanding that not everything happens when you think it should happen there are things that are going on in the world that may not necessarily be what you may think is right at the time but it is right for that time and um, you know it's hard to take it's hard to um, you know because of the ego the ego is constantly saying, hey, I want things to be this way and that way. But then you're falling down this hole again where you're trying to force nature to do what you want. <laughs> and I think that's the main issue that we've had uh, and that what we're going through right now, that we're trying, we're, we're going through an issue where beings are, have tried to force nature into a corner. And, in, and you just can't do that because nature is way too vast, it's way too big. Um, and there's lessons to be learned and things to, to be understood um, in many different ways. And so, uh, you know, I just uh, want to, you know, thank the Creator for being so patient and loving and kind with us. Because, you know, we're, uh, <laughs> we're just, this is very difficult. I, I'm not saying that we're difficult to the creative, but difficult to ourselves, um, you know, and definitely, um, you know, not the easiest to um, understand and to deal with, especially when there's so many of us, you know, with so many different minds and souls and children and etc. Anyway, so um, I just wanted to uh, spread that message real quick that you know it's 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 uh it's good to be in balance it's good to 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 try to um you know just uh, stay grounded and stay in balance and understand that you know n none of us are as you know as great as we think we are there yeah. and um there are certain things that we may not be ready for and certain things that we are and you know it's good to just kind of go with the flow and just uh, let it happen and, uh, you know, uh, take advantage of the situations that you have and, um, and be better. You know, every day should be a, a day where you should maybe think about what you can do to help someone and, uh, and be better. Um, and stay in balance. Anyway, th all this didn't come out that great, but, you know, I think some people have gotten what I'm trying to say. And uh, peace and love, fam.